Here in East Rivendell Farm in Montgomery County, the hills are alive with produce, herbs, and a plethora of farm animals. Now here at their market, they sell everything from organic local eggs to fresh cut flowers, but the real find is their homemade goat's milk soap. And while produce may be the most popular seller on the farm, for over 25 years, the goat's milk soap has been a close second. I had the goats and we were milking them and a lady that made goat's milk soap called and wanted to get some milk from me. So she brought me some of her soap and I loved it. You know, this is really silly, you buying my soap. She said, I'll teach you how to make it. So she did, very graciously. From lavender and patchouli to mandarin, orange, and mint, Sharon soap comes in a variety of scents, but the best part is its benefits for healthy skin. There's been a lot of people that have bought it saying that it helps their eczema. I think because it doesn't have any chemicals in it. It's very moisturizing. You don't have to use moisturizer. I think I know what goes on in this paddock. You got a lot of kids here. Yes. Look at these little guys. How old are they? They were born in March and April. Oh, they're youngsters. Sharon tells me the soap is named after the farm's first goat, Bryden, but the farm's name has far more literary origins. My son had read all of the Lord of the Rings books, so we submitted Rivendell Farm because he said, that's where the elves lived. <laughs> there was already Rivendell in Ohio, so just to try something, I put East in front of it, and they took it. They're very temperamental. They like a schedule, and they like things done the same way. If you move the milk stand, they have to get used to that, otherwise they freak out, you know, the first couple times. I see a bunch of different colors. Are there a bunch of different breeds here? There's two breeds. This one with the short ears are La Manchas, mm -hmm. and then the long-eared ones are Nubians. Oh, is that a Nubian? Okay, yes. I've heard of them. Yeah. I like their long, floppy ears. Yeah. After a tour of the farm, it was my turn to milk one of the goats. Sharon, who is this girl that we're working on today? Bella Donna. Bella Donna. Hi, Bella. How are you doing? She's, she's very, very hungry right now. Yes. Eating her sweet feet and everything. She doesn't care what you do right now because oh, she's okay. eating, okay? <laughs> so I saw you working on it, and I'll just sit here? Yes. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Okay. Even though this wasn't my first time helping out on a farm, I was utterly hopeless when it came to milking Belladonna. <laughs> Nothing's happening. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. It's it okay. looks so simple. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> this is, in all the years I've been doing this show, this is the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> I can't figure it out. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. I, I let her down. <laughs> <laughs> While it wasn't so much the third time's the charm, okay. I did eventually get Belladonna to work with me. There oh. you go. There you go. And look, got some more milk out of her. Now that we had some fresh goat's milk, it was off to Sharon's kitchen to make some soap. So Sharon, you're telling me that all this stuff will eventually end up as a bar of soap? Yes. How does that happen? The first step is blending the olive, castor, coconut, and palm oils together. Next, we mix the goat's milk and lye, where you can see the chemical reaction between the two as they change colors. The lye actually starts to heat up. If you feel the bottom of that pitcher. Oh my gosh, it's almost hot. Yeah. And finally, we blended them with the oil mixture and some fragrant oil to complete our soap. Sharon then pours it into molds for it to solidify. Well, Sharon, this is the time of my segment that I usually take a knife and fork to whatever we fixed. But when it's a bar of soap, uh, no, I think I'll pass on that. But we do have a nice faucet here, and I can give the product a try. And which variety is this? Jewelweed. Jewelweed. Yeah, it's a poison ivy relief. Oh, is that right? Yep. Yeah. It's very slippery, which I think is a good thing. That's all those oils. And look at the big bubbles on it. It really lathers up very, very nicely. What's your favorite variety personally? 
Mandarin orange. Mandarin orange. Uh -huh. Does it really smell like that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It smells good. We're going to put all sorts of information about your farm on our website at mpt.org slash farm. You can learn about it. I'm Al Spoiler for The Local Buy. Joanne? Be sure to check out mpt.org slash farm for all our recipes and resources. Plus, you can watch all Farm and Harvest episodes there as well. Also, don't forget to follow us on social media for show updates, pictures, and videos. Stream anytime, anywhere with the free PBS app.